Hi guys, my name is Naomi, welcome back to my channel. First of all, I'd just like to say hi to my fellow redheads and my non-fellow redheads. Also, if you're new here, thank you for clicking on this video and I hope you enjoy. Um, just a disclaimer, this video is not to brag or boast in any sort of way, um, as this is just what my family has been able to get me um, and I don't mean to offend anyone in any way, shape or form. If I do, I'm very, very sorry. I don't mean to. And yes, so let's get started. As you can tell from the title, this is a haul video of what I got for my birthday. So I'm actually going to move this up the way because I don't want to knock it down. Because <laughs> I have a tendency to do that with my phone. I have a tendency to drop it or drop things on it. So I'm actually going to show you guys the first thing I got for my birthday because I'm going to go in some sort of order because most things I got on my birthday and then a couple bits I got early. Um, so the first thing I got for my birthday that came really early is this waiting for my letter from Hogwarts purse. Sorry I know you probably didn't need it that far, um, close. And I just think it's a really cute purse. Um, you know, as you do, it's got card slots, cash slots, and everything. It looks, it's really nice, it feels really nice, and it is so me. Because, obviously, as you know, I want to be an actress, and Harry Potter, the film, the book, I love them both. And, yeah, I almost put that on my thing then. Next thing I got is this Michael Jackson Thriller phone case. I don't know whether you can see that. Sorry if I put it too close. Um, so at the moment I seem to be a really, really, really big, massive Michael Jackson fan. And I saw this on Amazon. My mum asked me what I wanted. So I just kind of sent her a bunch of Michael Jackson stuff. So her and my stepdad brought me this and gave it to me as an early birthday present as I cannot be with them right now. So yeah, it's got Michael Jackson and two like zombie people in the background from Stella and love, 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 love this case. Haven't taken it off other than now just to film this video. Which, to be fair, I could have even left on because I'm filming with my camera, which I've had for ages, just haven't been able to use it. So the next lot I kind of got all at the same time-ish. So one of the first things I got was um, like magnetic L plate. Sorry, that was upside down. Um, because my dad and stepmom said that they're going to be paying for my driving lessons as soon as we can um, drive. But personally, I'm a bit terrified of driving at all completely anyway. So I don't really want to drive, but I do want to drive if that makes any sense. If you want, I'll do a whole other video on it, on that subject. So to go with that, they brought me this um, pack of driving books. So literally it's got like three books inside and <coughs> yeah, that's really heavy. Last but not least for that, they brought me a hundred pieces, can you guess them all, road sign, a hundred UK road sign quiz game thing. So, yeah. Um, so, from my dad's brother, like my dad's brother's family side, so I'm not going to name them, but yeah, from my dad's family side, um, from my dad's brother and his family basically, um, they brought me the Shadow and Bone Trilogy, it come in a really nice bag, which is actually currently over there because it's buried, um, cannot wait to read it, have already started reading Shadow and Bone, so this is what Shadow and Bone looks like itself, it literally looks exactly like the front, but a little bit different. 
and I cannot wait to like finish reading it. Um, although I have got other books that I'm currently reading as well, so I will figure out how I'm going to do that. Sorry, I have got a message. I'm going to ignore that for the time being. But yeah, I've got Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm, or f yeah, I think it's Siege and Storm, and Run and Rising. So these are the books, and um, they're pretty cool. Eventually, I will get the collector like hardback editions, but for now. I cannot wait to read them. Um, I've got one more thing from my dad in Amber and my siblings, but I'm going to leave that to last because that's one of the things that I find the, the most helpful. Um, but yeah, as I said, that was from my dad's brother's family. Now I'm going to go from Amber's sister's side of the family. Um, so from those I got the Magnus Eyes Nude Edition. So I got this eyeshadow palette, and I have already used it, but I didn't realise that it already had instructions on the back or like other ways to use it. Sorry, the sun is just gone. I'm a bit disappointed, but yeah, love that palette so far. They also brought me this Dazzle Waterproof Mascara, which I don't think is actually waterproof because there was still a little bit left on when I went in to have the shower um, earlier and it was all down my face. But it is a nice mascara and the wand is pretty nice too because it makes sure it gets every eyelash. So, yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, they also brought me some W7 Glamorous Nail, um, which I will put on eventually, but I am terrible at <laughs> putting fake nails on and finding the correct sizes and everything, so I'll do that eventually, but not right now. Um, so yeah. And then they also brought me a Cheeky Chops makeup sponge in pink. I have already used it, but I put it back in the box because I needed to do this video. Yeah, shh, don't tell anyone. Um, the next thing they brought me was a Sunkissed Sweet Berry eyeshadow palette with infused minerals. And I cannot wait to use this palette because it does look really nice. And I would say last but not least, but that's not true. Um, one of the other things they brought me is this from L London Highlighter, Contour and Blush like mini palette. And I think it looks really cute. And again, I have used it. haven't used the blush, but I have used the contour and highlighter and absolutely adore them. Last but not least, um, from them, I got the Jimmy Cho Inner Set. Ill in click. Sorry, I can't. I got this perfume, and this is what it looks like. Um, missed the bottle, but this is the box. I would open it for you, but obviously I've got it out already. Um, so yeah, that's what the perfume looks like, and it smells amazing. It's so strong, and it's oh, just gorgeous. I don't know how you use it, but love this perfume. It smells. Hey guys, um, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so I've got to film the other half of the video, but I can't remember where I got where I left it. So I'm just gonna kind of start from where I think I left it. Um, sorry, my watch is telling me I've done 250 steps this hour. So, I got this from my dad and my stepmom as well. Um, and so far, I'm really enjoying it and really liking it. Um, I'm going to read you a quote that I found in here that I really like. Um, one is be happy, you'll work more because you'll put more effort in and all that. 
and then this one says so if I just take this it says right here treat an audition like a performance for a very small audience you love acting that is why you're an actor and cherish the chance to act that quote is really good um, and I really appreciate seeing that quote because it, as I said it is a really good quote acting in a nut sorry acting in a nutshell in a nutshell forget everything else this is all you need to remember pretend it is the first time you're saying it pretend it is the first time you're hearing it pretend it is the first time you're doing it so that has actually just like stuck with me since I read it it's like very like I don't know how to explain it it's just there in your face quote oh here's another one I like never forget why you are lucky you have a dream you have a passion that one's a really nice quote too um, I think that's all of the um, like quotes that I've actually read so far just even by accidentally um, on this page though it talks about drama school so this is the drama school page and it says don't go to drama school because you want to be famous go to drama go go because you want to act more than anything in the world anything else in the world and i think that could be a good quote as well i do recommend this book um it has lots of like facts but also it's really funny they they say it in a really funny way um doing it and they have another one which is called more golden rules for acting that nobody ever tells you i think um also by andy New andy newman newman sorry if i'm saying that wrong so i just throw my book on the floor yeah um but yeah i recommend that book it's good from what i've read so far um i think the last thing i actually have to show you is from my cousin and her mum um so, yeah, and they brought me the FC UK squared cubed body lotion and fragrance set. Um, this smells absolutely amazing, and I haven't touched this one yet because I have loads of body lotion, but I could always use them with more, um, just because I like body lotion and I use it for like my hands and my face because my face uh, gets quite dry so body lotion is always helpful and this fragrance I've been wanting to get an FC UK um, fragrance for a while so that was pretty good I think that was everything if not I'm sorry but like comment and subscribe and thank you for watching this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! How we live it, don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians and choose to be an account.